experiment, she says, might help explain Jennifer's mistake. She asked me to study these faces. Then, after a few minutes, she gave me a memory test. Which of these two faces do you recognize? Right. Okay, you picked right. Left. You picked left. Okay. And I said left, but I wasn't 100% sure. And then, the tricky part. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you why I'm stymied. Because I just picked this one on the left two seconds ago. But now I'm not sure, because those two look very much alike to me. But I'm going to tell you the left. But I was wrong. It was the one on the right. Loftus explained how I had been duped. You saw this face. Then I gave you a test where I presented you with an <gasps> altered face, oh my gosh. along with a novel one. So I pretty much induce you to pick a wrong face, <sighs> because I don't even have the real guy there. It's an altered version. And later on, when you now have a choice between the altered one and the real one, you stuck with your altered left yeah. choice. This is exactly what happened to Jennifer. This can help us understand why Jennifer can be sitting in a courtroom mm -hmm. and be looking at Bobby Poole, the original rapist, and looking at Ronald Cotton and saying, saying no, it's not Poole, it's Cotton because she has been picking him yeah. 